Welcome to Europe, a continent rich in history, culture, and natural beauty. Europe is a popular vacation destination because of its broad range of nations, each of which has its own special attractions and experiences to offer visitors from all over the globe. Europe is full with amazing locations to visit, including its enthralling cities, quaint towns, magnificent scenery, and mouthwatering food. We'll take you on a tour of 10 must-see locations in Europe in this movie, leaving you spellbound and yearning for more. So pack your bags, grab your passport, and let's embark on an epic European adventure. Before starting, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more future updates. So let's start. Number 10. Reykjavik, Iceland. To get things started, let me quickly go over a few key elements. Reykjavik, the capital of Iceland, is really situated on an island that receives a lot of snowfall in the winter. There is no denying Iceland's responsibility for the 2010 volcanic outburst. Geothermal baths are a popular way for Icelanders to escape the city's light pollution and keep warm during the long, hard winter, so they can enjoy the spectacle of the northern lights. The areas where these spas are located either have extremely little or no urban light pollution. Because of the long, sunny days that might last up to 20 hours, summer is a beautiful season. One of the most notable features of Iceland is the sheer quantity of volcanoes that exist there, in addition to its breathtaking and distinctive landscape. There are also miles and miles of glaciers, thunderous waterfalls, magnificent geysers, and vast meadows inhabited by Icelandic horses and sheep. Reykjavik has a bustling nightlife to go along with a surprisingly wide array of museums, shops, and other retail establishments. Number 9. Nice, France. The most populous city in the region and the administrative center of the Department of Alps Maritimes is Nice, which is located on the Rocky Bay des Anges shoreline of the French Riviera. Artists have always been attracted to the city. Greek architects developed it, and in the 19th century Europe's elite used it as a holiday spot. The Musée Matisse honors the former inhabitant with a display of Henri Matisse's whole corpus of work. On display are some of the most well-known religious artworks from the museum of the same name. Number 8. Lake Como, Italy. Rich tourists swarm to Lake Como in the Lombardy area of northern Italy because of its breathtaking beauty set against the foothills of the Alps. Celebrities and well-to-do tourists both like going there. Three of the lake's thin branches converge near Bellagio, a well-known tourist destination, giving the water the appearance of an upside-down Y. At the foot of the southwest branch lies the city of Como, famous for its Renaissance architecture as well as its funicular that takes visitors to the mountain town of Brunet. Number 7. Seville, Spain. When it comes to the passion of flamenco dancers, the tenacity of matadors in bullfights, and the lazy pleasure of an afternoon siesta, there are more than simply romantic is visions of Spain's past. These customs are widely maintained across the nation, not just in Seville but even in the most southern region of Andalusia. Seville has been influenced by Christian, Islamic, and Jewish cultures. It thus has old ghettos, church facades, and minarets that serve as reminders of each religion's former customs. When taking leisurely strolls down winding alleys and savoring lengthy, drawn-out meals, guests seeking a big dose of history will find Seville's centuries-old neighborhoods and cultural offerings fascinating. Number 6. The Azores, Portugal. Locals pronounce the Azores as A-S-O-R-S-H. It's the kind of scenario you would anticipate from a compelling story. In this post-apocalyptic world, the heroes encounter strange beasts, magical locations, and potions. The Azores are a fascinating place in certain ways. The nine islands that comprise the Azores were formed thousands of years ago by a sequence of earthquakes and volcanoes, and they are situated around 1,000 miles off the coast of Portugal. The warmth of the Atlantic allowed the evergreen flora to absorb the leftover debris, resulting in distinctive landscapes that are perfect for exploration. Number 5. Cyprus, Turkey. This island off the southern coast of Turkey is popular with Europeans for vacations, but international tourists find other beach and island destinations in Europe situated farther to the west to be more enticing. Owing to its exceptional fusion of historical and natural elements, the island nation is a must-see destination. Swimming is recommended at any of Cyprus' many beaches or at the Adonis Baths, which are said to be a favorite haunt for Greek gods. If you're interested in seeing more ancient relics, you may also go to the archaeological park of Cato Paphos, which is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and dates all the way back to the 4th century BC. Number 4. Amalfi Coast, Italy. The Amalfi Coast may first make you feel as if you have discovered heaven on earth. This is the type of captivating effect that this coastline in Italy has on the 5 million visitors that come here every year to meander along its alluring pathways. This stunning 34-kilometer stretch of land in Italy's Campania region is home to this UNESCO World Heritage Site. 
Even seasoned travelers may be stopped in their tracks by the sight of colorful cities, towering coastal cliffs covered in brilliant flora, and the calm blue waters of the Mediterranean. Number 3. Santorini, Greece. A large-scale volcanic eruption about 1650 BC caused the once single island's core to collapse and fall into the ocean. There are others who assert that this is the location of the long-lost city of Atlantis, which washed out to sea. Magnificent beaches and exquisite whitewashed homes shield what's left of this medieval city. These days, Santorini consists of a few islets and two inhabited islands. The majority of visitors remain on Thera, where Fira and Oya are Santorini's busiest cities. Another fantastic location for a tranquil day trip is Therasia. Remember also to include the smaller islands, such as Nea Kameni and Pelea Kameni. Number 2. Swiss Alps. The Swiss Alps, a haven for lovers of winter sports, are located south of Basel, Bern, and Zurich. In addition to the most well-liked sports in the region, skiing, hiking, and snowboarding, there are quaint towns, tranquil lakes, and breathtaking landscape. The region is a haven for travelers of all stripes and sophistication levels, and it offers access to stunning mountain resorts. Another thing that visitors to the Swiss Alps must do is eat a hot, flavorful fondue while ascending a mountain. Number 1. Cinque Terre, Italy. The Cinque Terre, five picturesque beach villages, are strewn along Italy's harsh Riviera. In every one of the five towns, vibrantly colored houses and vines cling to the slopes of precipitous hillsides. There are many fishing boats in the ports, and the most popular sauce in the region, pesto, is served in trotterias along with seafood delicacies. The Sentiero Azzurro, a cliffside hiking track that connects the settlements and provides breathtaking views of the sea, is a must-see. What do you think of our video? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoy this video and want to hear from me again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go. Thanks for watching.